This is Wayne Bilal and Tessie who joined me at the office today because they're painting our house and she barks all day at the painter. Oh, okay, I'll put you down. <laughs> She's grown a little bit. Remember her when she was a puppy if you've been watching for a while. Yeah. Anyways, today we're going to talk about business myths and how they can actually ruin you. I mean, I've seen people believe myths about their business and and miss, the, miss something important. So what is a myth? Well, I'm, the definition... The dictionary definition of a myth is a widely held but false belief or idea. Okay, Myths are harmless for most people. They can believe them without any real negative effects. But when a business owner believes a myth, it can cause business failure or stagnation. I use myself as an example. As a CPA who has assisted many business owners before starting my own business, I thought I knew exactly what was required to open and run a business. I could not have been more wrong. This brings me to the number one myth that new business owners fool themselves with when they first start out. The myth, I know what it takes to run a business because I've studied other business owners and have done my research. The truth, much different. The responsibilities, pressures, and demands of running a business can only be understood by those who have actually started and owned the business. Much like getting married, becoming a parent, or learning to drive a car, there's no single course, book, or experience that will prepare you for the experience of being a business owner, all right? They expect to be challenged and pushed to your limits almost daily. Unfortunately, this is only one of the many myths that are stopping business owners from growing the business of their dream. Every day I speak to business owners who are struggling with the hard truth they must learn in order to be successful. Here's some of the more common ones I run across. Myth, all I need to succeed is a good idea. Truth. Every business owner thinks they can offer their customers something better than their competition, but there are few or truly original ideas. Even Apple Steve Jobs didn't invent something new when he introduced the iPod, the iPhone, or the iPad. He saw an opportunity to create a product by improving or combining existing technologies in a way the market would love. Same with yours. Myth. Offer a great product and the customers will beat a path to your door. The truth? Steve Steve Jobs didn't use the field dreams method to market his products. And since I started with him, I'm going to continue. Apple is a master of marketing and sales. Every business owner must understand one thing. Every business is a marketing business first. Biz every business owner must become an expert at sales and marketing. End of story. Another myth. Success depends on hard work. Truth? Yes, you will work hard. Harder than you probably have done, ever worked before. Trust me, 40-hour weeks are going to become things of the past, but working hard isn't enough. You have to work on the right things, start by setting goals and deciding how to reach them. Myth, I can be my own boss. <laughs> I love that one. Uh, the truth, you may be in charge, you're not the boss. My name is on the door, but I have hundreds of bosses. Every client is your boss, Even every customer is your boss. Heck, even your employees are sometimes your bosses. You might get to decide who you work with, but whatever work you do, except whatever work you do, except must be delivered in a quality way. That delivery of a quality product or service that the market is willing to pay for is your new boss. All right, think about that. Mm -hmm. Your new boss. Oh, what? <laughs> she's. I'm ignoring her, and she's not happy about that. Your new boss is the product being delivered to your customers in a way that they love it so much they buy and come back. Myth: I can set my own salary. The truth, most business owners were successful in making good money before they became owners. In fact, it took me almost 12 years to get back to the same level of income I was making on my last job. With a new business, most of the early profits must be reinvested in order for the business to grow. Sure, many business owners make a very comfortable living, but only if they've met the need that the market pays them well for. Yes, I'm repeating myself from the prior one, but it's that important, okay? Uh, myth, going along with that one, I will make a profit quickly. The truth, you will learn that in business, everything takes twice as long and costs three times as much as you expect, or the other way around. <laughs> expect the unexpected, plan for it. Always have two or three times the funds you think you will need to start a business, open a new store, or launch a new product. Myth, I can take more time away from my work. <laughs> yeah. The truth, the new business is like a newborn baby. It needs constant attention. The most successful business owners work many long hours and are always striving to improve their business. To be successful, you must achieve the single-minded focus on making your business a success. Myth, I can, can't compete with the national change. The truth, the national chains can't compete with you. All right, You are closer to the customer than the managers of these large chains. You can spot market trends much sooner and because you don't have a large infrastructure, 
that they have, you can respond much, much more quickly. Plus, you can build a very good business from the small niches the big chains can't service or don't want to service. Finally, and perhaps the most dangerous myth of almost all new business owners and even many experienced business owners fall prey to, myth, I know all I need to know about running my business. <laughs> the truth, the biggest problem is not what you don't know. Rather, the biggest problem is what you don't know is that you don't know what you don't know. A successful business owner never stops learning. They're concentrating on improving all their business skills. They read books, hire coaches, go to conferences and seminars, learn from what other businesses are doing right and wrong. So ask yourself, what myths are you believing? And how are they holding you back? Hey, until next time, this is Wayne Blau saying, let's make this our most profitable year ever. And yes, Tessie knows I'm done. <laughs>